Hey, hey traders, it's Rowan from Optimize Effects. Welcome to the week four video update of all the EAs that have been trading for the past month. Uh, I'll pretty much just get stuck into it, I guess. Um, I did miss last week. However, um, you know, there wasn't really much to report on and I was a little bit unwell last night, so I didn't record the video, but I'm recording it now. It is uh, Tuesday night and I've got... Some pretty interesting results to share, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, first up, we're going to have a look at Percept Trader AI. This is the MQL or MT4 version. Um, I decided to run it on 10,000, uh, a $10,000 start. And I did dynamic lot based on equity, which is what it had already at 0.25% um, deposit load or equity based here. And it's still doing um, 0 0.01 lots. So I think this would probably have to be maybe like 2000. So it splits it up into um, five different ones. I don't know. It doesn't really tell me what the next lot size is. Oh, lots opened. Expected lot. Okay, there you go. So doing that has increased the lot size to 0 0.05 for the next trades. Um, it has been trading quite well, like the trades it has been doing. Like it's made $11, um, nothing crazy, but uh, definitely you can over leverage or over use a too big of a lot size with this EA. Um, so it is a really, a really slow and steady robot to put in your portfolio if you use it correctly. Um, it could make you a steady side income, no worries at all, uh, if you're not silly with it. Um, this is one that, um, yeah, I guess I'll talk talk about now. I was going to leave it to last, but it's fine. Uh, so this is called Axel Light or Axel Hunter EA, and it's been running on EURUSD on the H1 time frame for the whole time. And... It started with a thousand and it's now up to 2,573. And however, um, there was a bit of news last at, in the last month. And I just so happened to have, um, I set up a, like a signal on MQL five to just check out, um, all these kind of factors that you can't really see with the indicators that I've got on, uh, on the terminal. So we can see here that the, uh, it has been successfully trading, uh, you know, algo trading hundred percent. I had that, which means I haven't touched it with any manual trades. Um, maximum drawdown did hit 74.3% profit trades was, uh, 70% and lost 39. So, and trading activities 92%. So, uh, there was a little blip there we you can have a look at the stats right there like it pretty much speaks for itself we're down 33 dollars in open positions right now and um total percent gain is 157 percent in one month now you did risk a thousand dollars to do that and by doing that i've got this drawdown here uh we did hit 70 that 70 percent drawdown at one point but after that um it has been absolutely fine um, so would, would I risk real money um, with this EA? Um, I think if you've got money to lose, um, for sure. You know, if you've got $1,000 that you're prepared to lose uh, using this robot to, to gain 157%-ish in the month, then yes, uh, why not? Uh, it has been really, really good uh, in terms of profit, but... The profit to drawdown ratio is very high um, so you know it's uh it's basically in the very high risk category for me would i use it on a live account with a thousand um i'm still deciding uh, i'll probably run it for another another month and we'll see what happens but th this is just on euro usd it can run on other pairs if the if there is another pair that um, may not be trending as much i think if we have a look at the chart here, we zoom right out. You can see that this is probably where, oh, was it October? Yeah, so I started it here, 
13th of October, and we had this really big spike up and spike down, um, which is where that main drawdown happened, I would say, or here to here. And then, you know, EURUSD has been um, trading quite well, and I think this is, may have been, I think this was Friday, maybe a Friday night, um, where I might not have had the laptop open or it didn't trade this part here. So for some reason, um, if you have a look at here, so around about the 6th of November, um, we, we see that, oh, maybe it is here. Yeah, November. So this is like growth. That might've been that little blip right there. I was wondering what this, this little blip was. If you have a look here. So we can see balance, and this is percentage. I uh, know oh number of trades uh, over uh, balance. So that might be what, what that little blip was, but yeah, that that spike up and spike down was here on the seventh of the eleventh, and then nothing really much else, um, nothing bad. So um, yeah, I probably would would trade it live, um, maybe not Euro USD. Um, things can go bad, but there is another EA that I haven't mentioned that is, um, uh, it's called AW recovery. So that would sit on the same chart and it monitors drawdown. And what it does is if you, if it hits a predefined loss level, um, it'll kick in close. Uh, you can, you can have it close the, uh, the EA itself and it will then lock the trades and manage it from there. So that might be a good thing to have with this EA. Um, if it hits like 50%, you can have that locking take place and it will manage. And um, it has been successful for me in live to, to close um, positions that have been in drawdown. So um, yeah, it might be worth, worth a try, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, to let me know what you think in the comments down below about this robot and the results that I've had. Uh, would you trade this live and uh, would you trade it on EURUSD or would you trade it on like another pair? Um, EURUSD might be a bit too volatile. It, this is probably more suited to um, uh, to a pair that's uh, less that has less volatility, so and less less trending, less trends. I would say. But um, EURUSD doesn't seem to be trending here, um, which is good. So if we do this, we can have a look and it does. It, this is a trend down, but it's able to get out of it really, really nicely. So um, maybe if you don't trade it over news as well, that, that might be um, a way to do it too. Right. So next one we have, um, this was put on um, a bit after, I think. So what happened to this account was that it... I think it blew up on the EA that I had it running on. If, it, if I got it here, we'll see. Might have deleted it. Ah, oh, this Ferguoso Gold um, blew, blew the account up in like the first week. So I started to try another EA that was um, that had gone quite well. And this one's called Perfect EA. And I've got it trading on... Well, it looks like it's only trading on uh, pound USD, euro USD. It's just stopped for some reason. Uh, we'll have a look, actually. Have a look here. And Perfect EA has only been trading euro. Uh, oh no, it was trading euro USD, and then it stopped. So I don't know why that is. Maybe. Uh, Maybe the magic number. We're going to just put a nine there. Um, and have it going again. I have found... Ah, oh, here we go. There you go. So this EA is buggy. And this is what it does. So this is why the EA wasn't running on EURUSD. Um, and the laptop is now spinning up. It's not liking me at all. So I might have to close this terminal. <laughs> if I can. Yeah, it's it's stuffed it. So there you go. Close the program. Um, hopefully the video is still recording, but there you go. 
No, I'm perfect TA. <laughs> Broke it. But uh, did I have... No, this is Dark Argo. We'll get back to this one. All right, so this is another one that I decided to try. Um, this is called Gold Trade Pro. It trades on the daily time frame, basically on the extremes of the overbought, oversold areas. And basically what it does is it has, it sets buy stops and um, sell stops. And when it gets to those extreme areas, then it will start trading. Um, but so far it hasn't really done too much. Like it hasn't done anything, I don't think. Uh, we'll do last month. Lots of orders that haven't been yet. Has, oh, there you go. $6, $7. $7. <laughs> um, but this, this is trading, uh, it's trading all the strategies. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, it's trading gold, which is pretty volatile already. Um, some people have had some good results with it, but, um, yeah, I'm yet to see that. In my testing, it's a very slow EA, I think, so we'll see how it goes. Now, FX Gain Phoenix is one that blew up. I had it trading. Um, what I didn't like about it, though, was um, I had it trading on 0 0.05 lots on, on four pairs. Here we go. Two, three, four. And you can see the loss there here. So what I didn't like about um, this FX gain Phoenix was that the profit to drawdown ratio was not great at all. So if you have a look here, um, yeah, the max, the, the drawdown percent, the DD versus profit was huge um, as opposed to how much it made per day based on the drawdown that it had. So. Um, if you do it on 0 0.01 lots, it makes absolutely peanuts per day. Um, like, like we're talking a few dollars and so I up the lot size to, you know, not much more and it ended up blowing it up. So definitely don't recommend FX gain Phoenix. Um, it's not even worth having running on 0 0.01 even on a thousand dollar account you're going to make peanuts it's it's just not worth um it, it would barely cover the amount to um <laughs> to pay your vps costs so just put it that way um next we have this ea smart x bot um yeah all i can say about it is that it's not good um i've traded on euro usd h1 uh this was Golden Raven, the, the Golden Raven bot that um, took over. But as you can see here, the, the, the losses outweigh the profit. And it's just a slowly, a slow lose, basically. Negative um, $87 on this one. So you can see here, look at, oh, that's Golden Raven. But um, yeah. This, this smart X bot, you can see here, like, you know, it's making 40 cents, 40 cents, but then when it hits stop loss, it's negative $10. So because of that, um, you want it to be the other way around. You want it to have your stop loss, um, be hit early. Um, and then you want to have like a one to two or one to three, um, stop loss to take profit ratio for a, a strategy to be profitable. Like this is just crazy. I could hit negative ten dollars twice um, on Euro USD on a zero point zero two lot trade, and then then again it's making forty cents. Uh, so we'll get rid of that EA. Now this last one uh, I recently found out. I'm like this. This looks really, really, really like something I've seen before. When you have a look at when you have a look at this this algo and or these settings here, they look exactly like another robot. They, I'm like, this looks really familiar. As someone mentioned in the uh, in the Telegram, that's um, Dragon Expert 4.1. Now, if you have a look at this, um, this is what Dragon Expert does. Basically, it's a grid EA. 
and it'll open a an order every X amount of pips and you can see here this is exactly what it's done however you know it has made um, the same amount of money if not a little bit more than um, that the other that axle light EA running on Euro USD um, but it this it just this will not survive um, where there's the other one um, it had less drawdown where this one is just madness um, so you can see here 178 percent profit max drawdown is 93.2 percent um, equity is 1903 profit is 1779 initial posit was a thousand and these are the positions that are all <laughs> open right now um, craziness growth versus balance versus equity so this this most recent trend down on gold has definitely not done well for for the strategy of this EA. So look at this, almost at 100% drawdown. Um, so probably put this one in the bin. I sure, yeah, it, it did well, but um, maybe not so much. And this next one. Um, I know it's not going to, I just did a back test. So this is a new one. I just did a back test. Uh, this is running 28 pairs. It is only got $500 to start, but um, I've just done a back test and it doesn't doesn't survive uh, one year on $500 on 28 pairs. No, no EA will, so don't, um, I don't think this will this will survive. I'll probably stop it actually and and do a proper test with this EA, and then I'll share that one uh, in a few videos time. But um, yeah, that pretty much rounds up um, the month of uh, September slash October. I'll have a think about what EAs to to um, to trade again um, with with ten terminals. If you've got any you want me to to test, um, sure, smash a comment down below. Um, if you've liked this video, if it's found it informative, um, yes, hit that like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, where how we uh, make money passively, then uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. So that's it from me, Rowan. I'll see you in the next video. I'll come up with something really cool. And um, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.